Hey, what's up guys? It's Bex here and thank you for joining me for this episode of my random horror reviews. Today's movie is a horror comedy only from 2023, so a relatively new film. Today's movie is Renfield. Uh, so before I get into my thoughts of this movie, as usual, I'll quickly go into the plot for this one. Um, so as you can tell from the title, this movie we follow Renfield, played by Nicholas Holt. And he is trying to get out of this toxic relationship with his master, Dracula, played by Nicolas Cage. Um, so Renfield, as I said, he's trying to get out from under the thumb of Dracula. He wants to be his own person, a better person. Um, he's going to like these group therapy sessions. And um, he also gets inspired by this police officer, played by Aquafina, to be a better person and to stand up for himself. Uh, Dracula figures out what's going on and he's trying to get Renfield back. Uh, there's this other storyline going on with this crime family who are also causing problems for uh, Renfield and Aquafina's police officer. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the plot for this movie. So let's get into my thoughts of 2023's Renfield. So unfortunately, this is a movie from 2023 that I heard a lot of mainstream audiences not really enjoy. I heard a lot of people say, you know, it was just kind of boring. They were a little bit disappointed. Um, it wasn't that funny. You know, most people just saying it was fine at best. Um, but me, I really loved this movie. And the other people that I talked to in the horror community, they seem to also really enjoy it. Um, my friends that also enjoy horror movies, they also like this one. So I don't know where the disconnect um, between audiences are, but I had a great time with this movie. Um, first of all, I find it to be genuinely funny. Like, this movie to me is... Um, pretty hilarious like on more than a handful of occasions like I'm laughing out loud like to me this movie is like solidly funny um, just off the top of my head got to be up there with one of the funniest horror movies of 2023 um, really fun action sequences and um, really fun gore like it's not the type of gore that you see in like a saw film or martyrs or something like that it's more of the ripping arms off and blood flying everywhere action gore but um, really helps uh, you know turn up this movie to another level which I really enjoy. Um, I just kind of like the idea of having a movie from Renfield's point of view rather than Dracula's. Um, if you know the story of Dracula Renfield isn't a new character at all and um, as I said I think that's a really cool idea. It's not how I would have imagined it you know if someone said there's gonna be a Renfield movie coming out I wouldn't have pictured a comedy um, but I think they really pulled it off here. As I said, I don't really understand the disconnect with a lot of the mainstream um, audience with this one, but I had a great time with Renfield. So getting into the performances in this movie and starting off with a performance that a lot of people did praise, Nicolas Cage as Dracula. And I have to agree because I thought he was incredible as Dracula in this movie, really fucking cool. Um, first of all, like as I said, it's a horror comedy, so there's lots of jokes and everything. But I'd love to see Nicolas Cage as a serious version of Dracula sometime um, because a lot of the times in this movie, like, he's also very intimidating and he genuinely is pretty creepy. Um, there's this montage at the start of the movie where they're doing flashbacks and whatever and it's sort of, um, you know, recreating scenes from the Universal movies and everything but puts Nicolas Cage in there and it's all in black and white and I'm like, wow, that is really fucking cool. I'd love to see him play a serious version of Dracula sometime but um, as I said even though he plays the big bad in this movie he still gets lots of laughs and funny moments which I think is cool. Um, his look as Dracula is really cool. Um, there's certain parts where he gets injured or killed and he sort of has to heal and everything and he turns into like this rotting corpse flesh monster thing which I think is fucking awesome. Um, but moving on from Nicolas Cage um, I think Nicholas Holt also does a great job leading in this movie as Renfield, which I feel like not a lot of people gave him praise for this because everyone was like, oh, Nicolas Cage, I wish he was in the movie more. Um, Nicholas Holt also does a very good job um, with his performance, with his humour. It's a lot more of like a dry humour. Um, I feel like he's done a lot of underrated performances over the past few years. Um, I feel like he was really underrated in The Menu, if you saw that movie from 2022. Um, his character in that was so fucking funny and when he gets like um, roasted by Ralph Fiennes character that was the fucking best in that movie but um, Nicholas Holt he also did a great job as I said as the lead. Um, Aquafina is an actress who is starting to get a little bit of hate um, you know by audiences I think it's just because of her overexposure in movies she's starting to just pop up everywhere um, but I like her in this movie um, I feel like she sort of fits in with the quirky sort of feel and vibe of this movie 
And, um, yeah, maybe, like, if you heard that Aquafina's in this movie and you got put off by it, like, go and check it out, because I used to be the other way around. When everyone loved Aquafina, I was like, mm, not really on board, but I'm starting to come around on her while other people are drifting away. It's weird. And um, I guess the last performance I want to get into here is Ben Schwartz. Um, I'm not too familiar with him. Um, I know he's, like, the voice of Sonic in the new movies, and I think he was in, like, a sitcom or whatever. Um, but... I really liked him in this movie as well. He sort of plays the son of the um, mafia family thing, and um, he plays like this cocky, dumbass character, and he has so many like um, stupid one-liners. Like there's a part where um, Aquafina's like, oh, I'm all out of bullets, and she chucks her gun. So he chucks his gun like, yeah, I can fight you. And then she just comes around with a rifle, and he's like, <laughs> I just I found that part really funny. I thought all the performances in this movie was really fucking good. Moving on to some story elements that I really liked about this movie. Uh, first of all, I really like how they went about Dracula's mind games with Renfield because it really does go into some dark, twisted, brutal places because it really is a manipulative relationship. Like the way he speaks down to Renfield, um, you're nothing without me, you're worthless. Um, if you know the story of Renfield, he says like you left your daughter and wife back home years ago and now I'm all you have. Like it really is, as I said, a manipulative dark relationship and um there's one moment in this movie that comes to mind where it really goes into like some depressing territory like dracula comes in and takes renfield back down to ground zero and like renfield is like heartbroken and it's like as i said it gets really depressing and dark at times and it's like wow um i also really liked the setting in this movie it takes place in new orleans um i can't honestly put my finger on why i like the setting so much but i really did like it I um, also really like the twists that they did on the whole vampire and Dracula lore. Um, like, there's this one joke in the movie that I love. Uh, Renfield thought he got away from Dracula, and he's got his own little um, apartment thing. And he opens the door, and Dracula's inside, and he's like, what the fuck? And he looks back at his doormat, and it says, welcome, come in. And if you know um, the lore about vampires and Dracula, you have to say, come in, for them to come inside. And... I don't know, I just really like that joke. Um, I'm sure I didn't need to spell it out for you guys. Um, I honestly don't think there is any point in this movie where it gets slow or boring or uninteresting. Like, the whole thing to me is entertaining. Uh, this movie is like the perfect example of like a pop popcorn flick. Just turn off your brain and have fun. I don't know, maybe too many mainstream audiences were looking at this with a critical eye. Um, I just had a great time with this movie. I thought it was fun. I thought it was funny. I loved the gore. I loved the performances. Um, yeah, I might as well get into my rating for this one. I'm going to give Renfield from 2023 an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, I liked it that much. Uh, the first time I saw this movie in cinemas, I think I gave it like a 7.5, so it's gone up a fair bit. Um... Now, I'm going to be completely honest, I'm actually recording this review before I've put together my top 10 list of 2023. Um, I'm guessing that it's going to be a lock-in for my top 10 for 2023, but um, I'm still yet to record this video, so I'll actually post this sometime down the track after I post and record and, you know, edit my top 10 list, so uh, this is going to come out delayed and everything, so... Um, I actually don't know how my top 10 list is going to look or where this is going to rank, but um, as I said, it's just gone up for me since my first time seeing it. Um, the first time I saw it, it probably would have still held up to be in my top 10, but um, I'm going to say just off the top of my head, it's going to finish around like the five, six spots, something like that, because I really enjoyed this movie. But um, yeah, if I remember, I'll link my top 10 of 2023 horror movies in the description below but let me know your thoughts of Renfield guys if you saw this movie um I had a blast as I said I think it's fun it's got great performances um I don't know what's not to love about this movie I think it's fun but let me know your thoughts of Renfield guys if you've seen it and I'll see you for another video soon peace